AC's eminent advisory committee is in a crunch meeting with the electoral management body and IPAC on issues regarding the impasse over the compilation of a new voters register ahead of the December 7 general elections. EC insists fresh registration of voters will go ahead because it is very cost effective compared to the cost of refurbishing the existing system which has got to its end use. However, a coalition of minority parties led by the NDC known as the Interparty Resistance Against the New Voters Register is kicking against the new register, citing cost and time by staging demonstrations. Let's uh, quickly go over to our correspondent who is covering uh, this uh, crunch meeting with some update. Uh, the eminent advisory committee, the inter-party advisory committee, and the meeting is currently ongoing. And, uh, and there are some personalities who have joined in the meeting uh, from the NDC. Johnson is sitting Ketia, Ofusu Ampofo, the chairman of the NDC, uh, Sami uh, uh, Jemfi and then uh, Otukono, Peter Otukono, are uh, the ones who are representing the NDC. On the MPP side, we have uh, Obi Amwa, John Buedu, uh, uh, John Buedu and then the, uh, some ad ad other political I mean, uh, leaders of the of the parties. They are, they are in there. There are other political parties in the Kofi Akbalu and other people. All of them are in there and uh, making sure that they deal with the particular meeting. The, what, we, what is happening is that on the lineup or the program lineup, what uh, they are going to do is that first the uh, chairman of the eminent advisory committee, that is uh, Emily Short, will give a brief statement. And after that, Jane Mensa will also give a brief statement. Then uh, the EC. Uh, uh, will come in and then justify why uh, the country needs a new voters register. And then after that, the political party will also come in to make sure that they uh, also give their reasons why they think they, they need a new voters register or not. So the NDC will come and then give their own uh, uh, brief you know, justification why they shouldn't uh, come out with a new voters register. The MPP will do that. Uh, currently, we hear that uh, Kofi Akpalu from LPG is doing uh, uh, his presentation to give his reason why he believes that the AEC should go ahead and then uh, compile a new voters register. So, uh, so far, this is what we are hearing from them, and this is the lineup for uh, the. Uh uh, uh, the, the the meeting. So we we are trying to get uh, someone who 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 just came out from the meeting to find out for me exactly where they've gotten to and uh, what they have discussed. You just came out from uh, from the meeting, and uh, can you tell us exactly what happened before you came out? Uh, well, I, I think um, the electoral commission have just finished their presentation. Um, and they've raised a number of issues. Um, the same old issues that we've heard, um, that the, their machines are obsolete, and then they were procured as far back as 2013. They, so since 2013, they've not procured new BVDs and BVRs, and so some of the machines are slow, some of the machines are, are, have lost you know, unreplaceable parts and what have you. And they've also raised arguments about refurbishing a new system, uh, refurbishing the existing system. They, 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 I mean, the concerns yeah, they've raised that we are already, already, already aware. There are no any new yeah, things that they're mentioning. They, they, they've not raised anything, and, and I think that we are just scrutinizing the presentation that they made. Uh, personally, I have asked them a number of questions, which at the time I came out, they have not even been able to answer. For example, I asked the, I, the con IT consultant um, whether um, the argument he's making that the, the machines are obsolete. And so we need to compile a new voters register. So would that argument hold? Because for example, the current, the new machines that they are also going to buy are not going to be there forever. So does it mean that any time those machines also become obsolete, we would need to compile a new voters register? Ask him that question. And his answer was no. So I asked him then, why is that a justification for compiling a new voters register? Because we know machines can break down at any moment and there will, will be need for upgrade, for refurbishment or for them to be replaced. But how does obsolete machines become a justification to compile a new voters register? Because if tomorrow the EC consultant is telling us that if these, the, the machines that they are going to procure now, when they break down, they are not going to compile a new voters register, then why are they doing it now? So what, 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 what is the civil society organization, members from the civil society organization saying? Have they made any statements yet? N not yet. I think um, the AC have just finished their presentation. We have had the opportunity to scrutinize their presentation. The political parties are going to have their turn, and then we civil society organizations will also have our turn. All right. So uh, briefly, the, that is uh, what has happened uh, at the meeting. Uh, we will be following this uh, um, particular meeting, and uh, whatever comes out, we will give you details uh, in our subsequent bulletin from the Coconut Groove Hotel here in Accra, Godfrey Tanam for TV3 News.